coming to you live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota. Your pal Johnny Six Gun back after finishing up our weeks of rage where we finished off the phenomenal Sega Streets of Rage beat em up series. And after that, I declared I would play no more Sega games this season. After having played seven Sega games in a row, so what did I do? Decided to play a Sega game, Res Infinite. Very different sort of game. Our first non beat em up this season. Just because I uh, need a break from the brawlers. So we're going to have some fun with the game that maybe other PlayStation 4 fans are having fun with. It was given away free. For their uh, play at home thing, where they released about 12 games in a month after giving away only one free one before, a couple before Journey and Uncharted. Then they dumped like 12 games on us at once. It could have spaced them out, Sony. But I'll take anything for free. I was going to repurchase this at some point for the express uh, point of playing it on the stream and I got it for free so let's play it on the stream having a bit of the old iced tea tonight a bit of a cooker out of doors I'm wearing a hat my hats because my hair is a uh, triangular tonight I look like uh, Arthur the aardvark's friend Fran scene we're gonna play regular res Although I did do the Area X new VR mode. I don't have the PS VR. However, I was still allowed to play the free roaming mode, and it was kind of fun. Fun little hour diversion, or whatever it was. Options, settings. Should all be okay. Controls, that's what I'm all about. We haven't gotten too much to history of res yet. We'll do a quick crash course from it's the brainchild of Tetsuya Mitsuguchi, I believe, who kind of paved the way with Space Channel 5 on the Dreamcast and rolled into this. I think his gang was called Q Entertainment, perhaps. But yeah, they did res. Went on to do a puzzle game, Medios. A little more known puzzle game in Luminous, and a sequel to Res, Child of Eden, I think it's called, and Tetris Effect, which is a very cool VR version of Tetris. But the original version of Res came out on the Sega Dreamcast in 2000-2001 era. Didn't get a U.S. release, however, it did see a U.S. release on the PlayStation 2 in the early 2000s. I picked up a copy. Sadly, the U.S. version did not release alongside the Trance Vibrator peripheral. Essentially, what Res is, it's influenced by some of the artists of the day. Uh, Kandinsky, I think he's kind of a futurist surrealist. And his whole thing was uh, synesthesia or something like that. It's the... Seeing sounds as colors and hearing shapes and all these wild concepts. And, hey, they rolled a shooter game into that concept. A lot of music and color and shapes. You really feel the beat when you play this one. And there was a peripheral called the Trance Vibrator that launched along the Japanese PlayStation 2 version. And it vibrates in the beats. And... Uh, you know, they, there's a suggested use, we'll say. Suggestive use. And uh, they, they've emulated it now. A trans vibration, we can turn that on. And it, it's on now. I don't know. I've got a couple extra PS4 controllers going here. So I don't know. We'll see if the uh, trance vibrators are going into effect. Shake the old man meat around, I guess. All right, pretty basic controls. We don't want to invert our X and Y controls. That's confusing. 
That's for the pros. We don't need to know how to play. We just need to play a little res. And we will, as they say, let the mind roam. Could do the travel mode. Beginner's mode. No game over. We'll play normal mode, thank you. There we go. Uh, nothing crazy. Five areas. Can we clear res infinite tonight? Johnny is optimistic. Log in. Oh yeah, there's a trance vibration there. <laughs> and folks, uh, feel free out there to always let me know how the volume's sounding. Is my voice too loud? Is the game sound too quiet? Is it too loud? These are things that I can tune up. Oh yeah, those uh, trance vibrators are they're doing it. They're doing it. There we go. Just collected a bomb, essentially. Let's fire homing lasers at the enemies. Make fun little beat sounds. Beep and beep. Is it beets? Did you eat any beets today? Have you seen any... UFOs today. Back in the news, folks. If you're getting up these blue things, you can evolve. It's kind of pivotal, pivotal thing to do here. And it's, uh, you know, if you get enough of those blue things, you can make up your own words. That's, that's always good for old Johnny. We're going to need as many of those free ride tokens as we can muster. I think you get bigger bonuses if you get those big laser chains of enemies, right? Yeah, taking them down one by one. Kind of fun. Some Sega enthusiasts may recognize this gameplay as looking quite similar to that of Panzer Dragoon on the Sega Saturn. Whereas uh, Nintendo fans might think, hey, this looks uh, a little more like Star Fox. And you'd both be right. He's still making Star Fox games. What's with those? I know there is one on the Wii U. Never owned Wii U. Never played a Wii U. Seems most of the best games were ported to the Switch, anyways. And I've never played. Well, I played a little Nintendo Switch. Let's not get too crazy. Well, Johnny doesn't have time for games like he used to. Don't need to own all the consoles. Leave that to the the youngsters. Right, and uh, yeah, these visuals have been upscaled over the years. Of course, debuted on the Sega Dreamcast, followed by the PlayStation 2. Eventually, saw an HD release on the Xbox 360. Maybe on the PS3, not too sure about that. I don't even know what Res Infinite's available on. Is it just a PS4 exclusive? Is it on the Xbox One? Is it on Steam? I don't know, folks, but Res is on a lot of systems, and it warrants a playthrough every few years. I've been negligent. I haven't played Res for at least a decade. Dabbled loosely with its sequel, that Child of Eden, I think it is. Child of Light. That's okay. Don't be misled, it does not require the PlayStation Move controllers. As the box would have you believe, you can get that one cheap. You can get the sequel to Res pretty cheap. You can play it with a regular controller. The way video games were meant to be played. And music just keeps building, keeps kicking in higher. 
notes from destroyed enemies too and then the visuals thump in tune with the beat it's pretty cool that is cool even as the remakes kept coming the visuals weren't greatly changed higher depth wide screen but Res looks pretty much like it always has since the old Dreamcast days, and it's alright. For those tuning in late, I do have a pair of PlayStation 4 controllers in my lap, vibrating and pulsing with the beat. That's a feature the sexual. Satisfaction. I've uh, leveled up a few times, and now we have to battle the cover of a Stereo Lab album. Usually, these bosses, I'll just wail on them with that rapid fire. Form of the uh, main player character. I always kind of referred to it as Dural. Looks like Dural, the final boss from many of the Virtua Fighter Sega fighting games. Just keep wailing on them. Do a few more of those charge shots. Alright, they do want to shoot those torpedoes before they get you. I think they stung me. I have to remember, I have a few bombs left, a few overdrives. We haven't used any of those yet. Let's use one, why not? That much. Shouldn't have been rubbing my nose. Johnny calls a case of the old rubber nose. Can't stop rubbing that darn schnoz. Schnozola being the uh, scientific term. Nose news. Check out what that, uh, that little divot thing. What, you, anyone know what that thing's called? I looked it up the other day. I don't remember what it's called. Alright, I think we knocked that one down. And we lost the transcriber. That's, that's okay. Well, there we go. I did a quick sound check, and it sounds all right. Yeah, we're doing okay on these uh, percentages here. I think we did a good job. We got a little warning about uh, insufficient quality. All right. We still going. We might still be going. I think the uh let the internet come back. We we, we beat uh area one there. That's that's a good thing. Oh internet. I did wanna broadcast in sixty frames per second tonight, and that's probably my downfall. Is it coming back? Let's start it over, folks. We'll do a part two. We'll be right back. If I can press the right button. <laughs> 